This is James Holder for IFL TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marbella. I'm in Leeds today at the City Museum for the press conference of the Battle Line show. With me, I've got Tyrone Nurse. What's happening, Ty? Not much, not much. You know, just training hard. Uh, looking forward to putting on another show October 4th. So, uh, here for a press conference, obviously. So, it's, um, it's all starting to come together. The show's taking shape and, you know, ready to go. Are you still holding the English title? Have you vacated that belt? Yeah, I'm still currently the English champion. Um, obviously, they're announcing that I'll be fighting for the Commonwealth on this show, which Will Le Mans is going to be vacating, mm -hmm. just while they try and see what they can do with him in the you know behind the scenes. But um, I would imagine once I've won Commonwealth, I'll be giving the English up, you know, let someone like you know, Tyler, let Tyler fight for him, Ricky yeah. Boyle and them sort. Yeah. Let them progress the same way I progressed off it. Great win for yourself over Tyler Good, John. I know you've been out again since then, but that, that fight was a great, great showcase for yourself, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Um, I've still not seen the full fight myself. I've just seen what they showed on ringside. Um, not been able to get hold of the full DVD, but, you know, I felt good in there. I'd had seven months out, so I didn't feel my sharpest. I didn't think it would be, you know, the best of me, but I was still... By all accounts, it was a good performance and I put on a bit of a showcase, like you said. So, um, you know, just onwards and upwards from there. Since then, a good win over Little, just ticking over, getting you out? Yeah, that's it. I did my, uh, did my right hand in the fight with Tyler, so we kind of played it safe throughout, you know, the them couple of weeks training up for the Little fight. So I didn't go in there with the intentions of destroying my hand a bit more. We just went in and sort of played about for a few rounds. Just did another, got another six rounds under the tank, got paid and, you know, went on holiday after that. So. Fair play. No opponent's been announced yet for the Commonwealth title show, uh, for, the, for you fighting for the Commonwealth title. Any inkling of who they're going to bring in? Um, not at the moment. We're thinking an international opponent. You know, that's what Eddie's saying. So um, this could be a Canadian, an Aussie, an African. You know, we'll just, just see who they'll come back with. But you know, I want someone who's came and going to come and give us a fight so I can put another showcase. Well, you've been in with the likes of Zot before and that kind of level, haven't you? So, so I don't think bringing in a European fight is going to worry you too much. No, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not worried about it. whoever it is, you know, just uh, get me in there, get me that title and get that British before I end at year as well. Mm -hmm. Mandatory for the British title, Willie Limond. He, he next time he fights, he, he, by all means, you're going to be in one side of the ring. So yeah. that's, is that a motivation for you right there? It, yeah, it definitely is. I mean, I've been, been at this a fair few years now, obviously, um, 30 fights and, you know, it, it took a bit longer than I planned. Um, but to be honest, I think I think it's, it's all come at the right time. I don't think... You know, I think losing in prize fighter were a blessing for me, and um, it gave me that bit of time that, you know, to keep growing and to sort of start doing what I'm meant to do in the ring. I've always been able to do it in the gym, but doing it in the ring, I want doing it. So um, losing prize fighter bought us that bit of time, and um, maybe if I had a one prize fight, I wouldn't be in the position I'm in now because I'd, I'd have been there and I'd have lost, and I'd be back at picking order. You know what I mean? I don't think I'm ready then. Whereas now, now's the right time, so I'm definitely ready now. Do you feel you're ready now to step up and win major honours? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean. We'll get this Commonwealth title, then we'll get the British before Christmas. And, um, you know, I'd like to win that outright, obviously, because that's just best belt going. And then if Will Lemon gets all at European, you know, that's, that's a fight down the line. You know, it's natural progression, like Josh Warrington's done here, English, Commonwealth, British, and, you know, he's fighting for European this time. Indeed. Whereabouts are you from? Huddersfield. Huddersfield. Just over the road. I don't think we've had big time boxing in Huddersfield before for a while. Would you Would you uh, go there and headline a show there, given the opportunity? Um, they, we used to have James there, Dale Robertson, Mark Hobson, they were all British champion sort mm. of level. Um, but it's been a fair few years, we've put a few small all shows on there, but I don't think we've got a venue big enough, you know, for the type of shows that they're putting on nowadays. They're not doing small all shows, are they? Mm. Uh, you know, like your Sky shows, they're all arenas now. I think Sports Centre in Huddersfield probably only holds about just short of 2,000 at best. But they are building a new arena and I'm not sure what the criteria is for that, how many seats, etc. So, you know, maybe maybe don't lie, maybe don't lie, we'll see. Since you've been involved with the Matchroom team and the Sky Shows, have you seen your profile uh, raise a little bit in terms of people knowing who you are? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, just one tweet off Eddie Earn and you get another 15 followers here and there. Or, you know, obviously, I've, obviously, I've always sparred with good fighters, obviously sparred with Ricky Burns and likes them. So, you know, working with high-profile fighters and a high-profile team, you know, just them mentioning your name, people... People look you up, they want to find out who this kid is they're talking about, and all little things like that. But it's definitely, you know, getting on the matchroom shows helps, and we're in the programs and everything, and so I definitely think so, yeah. Looks like a good show to be on, obviously, two weight world champion Ricky Burns, back in action, back on that comeback trail. Callum Smith, British and Commonwealth champion Josh Warrington in action as well, to name but a few, so yeah. it should be a good night. Good oh, part, yeah, it'll be a cracking, it cracking night, and I mean, the last lead show was strung together in three weeks, and, you know, they got... I remember. It a bit, I know there were a bit of a struggle with opponents and what was going on, but I mean the atmosphere were unreal then, so 
you know, imagine a proper eight-week build-up for a lead show. The atmosphere is going to be madness. It's, uh, it's, I imagine it's going to be a top, top night. Right, well, listen, thanks for giving me a bit of time today. Last but not least, plug your Twitter. Get yourself, hopefully, another 15, 20 yeah. followers off our back, mate. <laughs> At Tyro Nurse. T-Y-R-O-N-E-N-U-R-S-E. Thanks, Tyrone.